Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning from wherever you are watching this video from. Okay, um, this is something Dominic, a financial market technical analyst. So today I want to just give you a chronological history of Bitcoin, you know, starting from the inception of Bitcoin, you know. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how Bitcoin have performed over the years, starting from the year 2013 to where we are currently today. So I want you to pay attention. Um, I'm going to release some information on this video and at the end of this video, I want to raise, I want to tell people what Bitcoin have done in the past and what he's going to do. And I will tell you when you should invest in Bitcoin so that we make a lot of money. This video, I'm creating it um, in such a way to, you know, raise up to $100 million in funds so that we can go big in Bitcoin and come out big in 2025. You know, I will just tell you guys about bull run and bear run, you know, when you come to Bitcoin, there is something that always happens every four years. When I begin, I will explain everything to you. When the bull run happened, then when we enter the bear market, you know, Bitcoin have two seasons. The first season is always bull run. Bull run happens in one year. Then it followed, it, 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 it always followed by a, a bearish market. For example, in year 2022, 2023, 2024, will be a bear market for Bitcoin. So let me not just release all the information at the beginning. Let me just start. You know, I will show you everything you need to know technically about Bitcoin. Sometimes people say that it's news that controls the market. Yeah, news controls the market, but we that are technical analysts, we see everything that is happening in the world on our chat. All these candlesticks you are seeing here are representations of all these news you have been hearing, even when Donald Trump was on seat. Now we have to be doing all the news, Russian news, all this pandemic, um, what is it called? Pandemic. Uh, like what are you all these things that are happening we see them on chat we see them on our chat every day so i will base this on monthly so let's go starting from 2013 okay I just want you to pay attention um what i'm going to show you we look like uh, it will look zigzag. But just pay attention, it's just a simple stuff. You actually understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I Bitcoin Bitcoin started the inception of Bitcoin drop. What people started telling about Bitcoin. You can see it here on Monday, 1st August 2011. Look down here, you will see where I'm pointing my life. If you look down, let me delete this. If you look down here, you will see Monday, 1st August 2011. That is when Bitcoin started and Bitcoin opened at a price of two. Bitcoin was once, I heard that Bitcoin came out in 2029 when it is at zero point. You know, over the decade, Bitcoin have performed every investment. Somebody that bought Bitcoin on for on first August 2011 at $2. Bitcoin is at currently, I think Bitcoin is at 29,400 and something dollars. Imagine those that bought Bitcoin here. They should be billionaires in dollars. If 
now. So Bitcoin was just doing all this until 2013. Bear market is when market is going down. Bull market is when market is going up. And in every bull market, market normally skyrocket. That is when you will start hearing about Bitcoin. If you are conscious of these times, times like 2013, times like 2017, and time years like 2021, a lot of people heard about Bitcoin because Bitcoin performed so well during these years. So if you look at Bitcoin was just down here doing all this until 2013. Until 2013, it started rising. It started rising. It started rising. Oh, then Bitcoin made from 2011. To November 2013, Bitcoin made Bitcoin made whoa, Bitcoin made six thousand percent. Six thousand percent. Do you know what it means? Six thousand percent is sixty-two x of your money. For example, if you invested hundred dollar here. In twenty in twenty thirteen, February twenty thirteen, in November when we had this push, you you should have gotten six thousand two hundred and twelve dollars. Me as a technical analyst, I don't chase all these fluctuations. I manage my risk so well because this is an investment, and whatever you are investing. You need to manage your risk, you know. That's what we call, we call risk management. You have to manage your risk because you don't control the market. Okay, so this happened in 2013. As market made its all-time high on November 2013, in December, market started descending. In December 2013, market dropped from 1,000, from 1,146, that is November 13, all-time high, where Bitcoin topped 1,146. Bitcoin dropped, dropped. What normally happens is, after you do wrong, I will use this 2013 and 2014 to explain other things I will explain in 2017 and 2021. So after every bull run, market will drop market will drop market will drop almost 87 percent and when all these things is happening what you will be hearing people saying is that bitcoin is calm this is calm that is calm you start hearing countries you know delisting bitcoin discouraging people to buy bitcoin this is why if you are investing you shouldn't be greedy you know there is this um, Warren Buffett theory that says that you buy when people are fearful and sell when people are greedy. I tell you, in 2013, when people saw Bitcoin doing this, people will be shouting, people will become greedy and start investing their money at the wrong time. This, when this happened, people will be greedy. That is when people will start yelling about Bitcoin. Everybody will want to invest. Oh, how can I invest? How can I invest? This is the wrong time to invest. And this is the rule of what you do. Sir, when people are greedy, once you notice that people have come on the and start shouting, buy, buy. Bitcoin is going to $1 million per Bitcoin. Take your money. Take your money out of the market. This is a strategy. This is a rule you must know. Then when people are fearful, when all these things started happening, imagine um, you seeing Bitcoin at 1,146. Bitcoin started dropping. Dropping in 2015, Bitcoin dropped. My God. Even in 2013, imagine seeing Bitcoin at 1,146. 
same 2013, Bitcoin dropped to 385. Do you know what this thing means? If you invested $1,000, if you have $1,000 and Bitcoin dropped like this, your money will remain $300. Now we standing. You will think that the worst have happened. Bitcoin came up. So after every bull run, after every pump that Bitcoin will make, Bitcoin will always retrace 90% most 87 to 90% and when all these things are happening what, what is happening in the market is that people that invested are withdrawing their money people that are invested you know the, the law of supply and demand demand is people that did economics in secondary school even in the university I'm an accountant I have my bachelor's degree in accounting, in accountancy. You know, we read about demand. If you see demand, demand curve goes like this. When people, the higher the price, the, the higher the demand, the higher the price. When people start buying anything, when people start putting money in anything, that, it, that thing will rise. That thing will continue to rise. That is why in economics, if you want to draw a supply curve, a demand curve goes like this. Then if you want to draw a supply curve, it goes like this. Supply is, um, when you want to define supply, supply is, you know, selling your goods when price are high. When people that invested their money, people that demanded Bitcoin and bought Bitcoin, once they see that Bitcoin have made profit, they will be like, okay, let me take out my money. You know, then Bitcoin will start or whatever it is, even if it's salt, and kernel, oil, whatever, that thing will start to that thing will start going down. When people like then everybody is ready to sell. Everybody is ready to sell. Then there will be availability. Like if anything is excess, the price will become cheap. You know. At this point, everybody was ready to sell. Everybody started selling. That is why Bitcoin started coming down. Bitcoin came down to 159. I remember it here. On January 15. On January 2015. You can see this red candle here. I just marked it. Even. I didn't even have it for me to put, put it below here. Bitcoin came down to 151. Imagine buying something at 1,146. Then all of a sudden, after two days, we saw it here. My brother, people will say it's a scam. Yes. Especially we that are Nigerian. So you say, Oh shit, this is a scam. No, just no one thing. In life, life is governed by secret. People that saw Bitcoin here knows that this thing had potential. Remember, Bitcoin moved from here, you know, and dropped. Let me check how many percentage Bitcoin dropped. Bitcoin dropped. This is 86% drop. Remember what I told you before. Bitcoin will always drop 87 to 90 percent of whichever point it makes. This is a must, you know. Give me a moment. Let me pull my laptop. Let me pull my laptop. You know. Some minutes. <laughs>
Oh, what's happening? Comment. So let's continue. You know, so I showed you what Bitcoin drops to. Bitcoin dropped 86%. So from here, remember what I said before you buy when people are cheerful. Bitcoin have dropped with six percent. People are afraid. But will I invest? When people are still asking this question, shit. I'm sorry, let I just to be light, so I turn on my solar. So when people are asking this question, or in movement strategy, people that knows the game, you know, they bought, they bought from here, in anticipation of, in 2015, and I told you that we have blue run, blue run. After one year of blue run, we have Three years of beer market. Market cycle completes every four years. So first is we run the three years is will be beer, will be characterized by, by peers. So this is 2015. So we have had 2013, 2014, 2015. No, 2013, then we have 2014, 2015. 2016. So, next run will be in 2017. I will show you all this thing in chart. So, if you look at this candle, where I'm pointing at, if you look down, you see that it's January. This is January 2015, you know. Then from the market started moving. Um, I know you guys are not technical analysts. They all happen here. Anywhere market drops, market normally reacts to that place. So market started reacting. Market find it hard to break it. You know, when market came to this zone, break it. It started retesting it. It started. Okay, I just marked this place. This is um. This is when we. When we had our bull market, then in 2014, April 2014, market tested this area, which is 345, but I've shown you guys before. Then in 2015, that was when market crumbled. 2015, January. Remember this date, this is how Bitcoin goes. 2013. Then in 2014, market dropped, came up in 2015. 2015 is like 2023. I will tell you what, market made the lowest look. Then from that 2023, from this 2015, market started moving. Up. The market came up here. This base here, where market dropped, dropped and went up. It's a very solid base. You know, market started ranging there. Price started ranging there. Whenever Bitcoin comes here, it drops. Whenever Bitcoin comes here, it drops. Whenever Bitcoin comes here, it drops. Until we made this, this strong candle. The price broke this BTC supply zone. Whenever Bitcoin come up here, before we sell, well, that is what it means, the supply zone. 
then so we had this on May 1, 2016. In 2016, 2016 is the year next to next Google. Next to next Google. On May, we had this breakout. This breakout. Market was ready. Market was ready to move. You know. And in the market, every import we always have a correction. So as a financial manager. If I want to invest in Bitcoin, I will not do anything this year. I will wait till 2024. When I will still have this breakout, I will wait for this correction. After market has done these two things, that is when I will invest in money. If I want to raise ten million dollars. You know, whoever that wants to invest, you know, in 2025. That person is getting 2025 March, March 2025. They are getting 50% of your money. Short bank, risk free, risk free. That is why I will make sure to enter the market as a sniper. You know, so market corrected from, and from there, market moved. 2016, okay, move. People that are there in 2017, you remember oh, okay, what Bitcoin did in 2017. Bitcoin moved. I will just show this. This is where the move started. Bitcoin moved. Ah, Bitcoin moved. If I'm taking this, uh, you won't see all those candles again. Bitcoin started moving from here. Go oh God. Bitcoin moved. Started moving from here. No. Bitcoin comes from here. We move. From 2016. Remember. From 2011 to 2013, we had Bitcoin doing 6,000%. Then here you now, Bitcoin did 4,800%. So a lot of percentage, but I don't just percentage because I'm a financial manager, I'm a hedge fund manager. You know, so I take risk free trades. I know when to close my trade and move on. So Bitcoin pump. This is 2017 December. This is 2017 December. That is when Bitcoin made its all-time high. You know, the all-time high of Bitcoin in 2017. I remember it here. That is December. 2017 Bitcoin came to 19,000. So the first all time high in 2013 is 1,000 plus. Then from 1,000, Bitcoin moved. Bitcoin moved. So from 1,000 to 19, is X19. If you put $100,000 here, you're coming out with $1.9 million. But I don't want to scare you with that percentage because we are not going there to chase it. If in a year, if you can position yourself, if you can position ourselves well, I will tell you when to buy. I will tell you when to buy in 2024. If you can position yourself well in 2024, you will be rich in 2024. Trust me. But once we get 50, 100 percent of our money. You should raise it. You know, remember all these from trade reviews and all these things. We now give you more than 12% in a year. But you see something that can give you 50%. It's a very good investment. So no need to be greedy here. So in 2017, remember 2013, then 2014, 
2015, 2016, 2017 is a complete four years. We had another bull run. Then another bull run we have anticipate will be in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021 is our next bull run. So I will be fast here because I have explained most of all these things when I was doing 2019 and 2014. Okay, so look at what happened here. In 2018, my first person, remember what I tell you, it will go up, come down. It will come down always and every day. It came down. This is December 2018. It came down to 3,000, $19,000. It came down. So let's measure it again. Remember, the first this thing we had minus 86% drop. So imagine investing $1,000. We just have one forty dollars left. So that's what we mean. So in gem market, one good thing about life is time. Anybody that knows how to manage time, how to take advantage of time, will make a lot of money. When Bitcoin started dropping, people started calling Bitcoin scam, all this and that. This is where Bitcoin dropped, you know. Then in 2020, after 2018, when Bitcoin did all this, in 2019. 2019 is like 2023. Bitcoin started going. I will show you this thing now happening in this 2023. 2014, 2015 is like 20. I showed you all this before. We had our lowest low on Bitcoin in 20 what? In 20, we have our highest high in 2013. Then in January 2015, they count this like they count it. We have 12 months in a week. The market normally does the lowest look on, on the Let's say after two years, uh, let's say 20 months, you know, in 2015, that is when we made the lowest year. Then here now, in 2018, Bitcoin made the lowest low. In 2018, here, you know, Bitcoin dropped to 3,102. Then Bitcoin started moving in 2019. If you go to chart in 2022, we still get there. So in 2019, market started moving. In June 2019, market touched. Market touched this place. I just labeled it. Look at the highest market up to June 2019, offline half. Market started selling. You don't need any profit. Sometimes people will come in the market and they will be saying they are profit. We see all these things on chart. Market dropped. Market dropped in June. So in June, this 2023, we should expect this. You know, but I'm seeing this coming in this April or May. We might not even wait for June. Market will start dropping again. Market drops all the way to 3,008. After touching 13,000, you know, market doesn't go up forever. So all these things that happened, when did we enter 2020? This is during COVID-19 in February. In February, we entered COVID-19. This is what happened in 2020 during COVID-19 Bitcoin dropped. Then from that COVID-19, so in 2024, I'm not a prophet, but I'm telling you that in 2024, 
expect a pandemic or global shutdown, something will happen next year that will shut down the world's economy. The world's economy will go down. And this is when I would like us to invest for people that will be interested. I will send this video to very few people. I will post it on YouTube, but I will not list it. I will make it private video, you know, because this video, you can never see it anymore. There is nobody doing this documentary, this chronological history of Bitcoin documentary that I'm doing here. So Bitcoin dropped in 2020. This thing we are seeing, we see this rise in this 2023. And we will see this fall until 2024. Then in 2020, this is, we are in 2020 here. We're in 2020 because the bull market is around the corner. Remember what I said, 2021 is our next bull market. Let me still show you. All these things are history. History repeats itself. Okay, started here. Okay, started here. Just from 2020, market made up and try again. You know, market came up here. So between 2020 and 2021, market did 1,700%. I'm not showing you this to scale you. This is real. This is what happened. You can go and check it anyway. I'm showing you this from chance. You can go and check it from me or whichever place you want to check it. This is real. You know, then Bitcoin moved 2021. Bitcoin moved. This thing should be oh oh. This thing should be 2021, not 2017, 2021. Bitcoin made the all time high. See the, see the connection between this. In 2013, in November, Bitcoin made all time high. In 2017, in December, it made all time high. Now in 2020, in 2021, in November, Bitcoin made all time high. And from there, Bitcoin started dropping. Bitcoin started dropping. Bitcoin is not yet, have not yet dropped. So we all, always expect this, you know. This is still 73. So we always expect Bitcoin to drop 84 8, or 85. I don't know why I mark this place, but I'm a good analyst. Let me tell you something. This thing I marked here, this is where Bitcoin will come to. And Bitcoin will come here next year, 2024. This is not a financial advice. But for those that will believe what I'm trying to say, Bitcoin will come at this feed level. There's what we call Fibonacci. People that know the laws of numbers. This is the game of number. When Bitcoin touched here, let me show you why I not that place. This is my negative. I will not teach you technical analysis here because this is my profession. So this is where Bitcoin will drop to 10,293. Bitcoin is coming here. So where we are on Bitcoin now, we are, so Bitcoin has dropped in 2022. Bitcoin dropped to 15,549. I marked it this red candle. And it happened on December. December. Remember, in 2014, Bitcoin made the lowest low in December. In 20, then in 2018, did you remember when Bitcoin made the lowest low? Did you remember what time low in December 2018? Something normally happened in December. In December 2018, we made our all-time low. Bitcoin came to 3,100. Now in December 2022, 2014, 2018, and 2022 have something in common. 2015, 
2019, 2023, have something in common. 2016, 2020, and 2024, we have something in common, brethren. So this is the end of the so we had this breakout. This is a strong zone. Yeah. Then let me show you guys what I did for. This is 2019. I use this Fibonacci to know what market is doing. So this market, it made it broke all the structure with test and move up. Once now I see this negative system from it. Market always bound to the price. If you see Bitcoin is reversing from here. So Bitcoin will come down here. This 28,003. If it breaks this place, my brothers and sisters, we will be coming down to this field level, which is 10,003. Bitcoin will come here. Between now, Bitcoin will come to 10,293. Between now and 2024. And this is when I will warn my soldiers. Oh, guys, okay. how wonderful. And sweet John, you know, we will get, we'll get back to this very soon. Have a nice day. Bye.